So Halloween's just around the corner, and you may want to get yourself some candy to hand out to kitties. Well, there's a couple problems. Uh, first of all, candy costs money. I don't know if you knew that, but apparently, and I've only heard this secondhand, uh, shoplifting is no bueno. It is not allowed. Es no permiso. So... You've got to find other options, and there are, I assure you, there are cheap ways to do it. Now, the important thing in all of this is that you hate your neighbor kids, because otherwise, these things that you're giving out are going to be counterproductive. But remember, we're looking for low-cost, high, high-value items. So why don't you start? It's got to have some weight to it, so why don't you start with pennies? Yeah, pennies. Who doesn't love pennies? It's money. Maybe you take five of them and super glue them together. Kids love that stuff. Yeah, absolutely. If pennies are a little too rich for your blood, why not go with the old standby Taco Bell hot sauce packets? You can pick them up for, well, uh, I, I believe the going rate is five for nothing. Yeah, so it's great. You just, they might need it, they might not. You don't know, but it's better than giving them, you know, little pieces of black licorice. At least the, you know, give them a bit of honey. Who wants that? Uh, something with coconut. Hey, kids don't even like that stuff. Come on. What you could do, and this is a little late for this year, but uh, take office supplies from work. And the, the thing is, you got to take them over time because if you take them all at once, it's too obvious. So what I like to do because I work from home and I don't want to steal from myself is I get promotional pens, you know, like Windermere Real Estate or whatever, you know, State Farm, who cares? And then I just drop those. Hey, kids need pens. I'm helping and I'm saving their parents money without rotting their teeth. But if you want something that's really heavy and really says, screw you, neighbor kids, and this is especially true because you always get the older kids who for some reason think they don't have to dress up, which I assure you, they do. You have to dress up. It's Halloween. You're asking for free candy. Wear a goddamn costume. What I like to give them is a fistful of sand. It's got good weight. Weighs the bag down. They feel like it's a good value. It gets in all their other candy, which invariably is going to lead to, you know, less tooth decay. Really, I'm helping. But if you want to go the extra mile, why not do something special? You know, give them glitter. A fistful of glitter in that bag, they will remember you probably for years. That's, you can't put a price on that. And you can, but you'll have to go to the party store to find out what the price is. You can probably bet, buy a big old box of glitter on Amazon. See if that shows up on the screen. Uh, medical free samples and other free samples in general. My mom used to get these when she when she worked at the uh, insurance company and at Blue Cross, she would, our stocking stuffers were always like a three pack of band-aids with the name so-and-so healthcare supplies on it. What a terrible gift, but who knows, you might need band-aids. We would get all kinds of goofy stuff, little packets of ointment. Who gives their kid ointment? But for that matter, who gives their neighbor kid ointment? You could be, you could be famous on your block for being that guy but if you really want to be famous what you need to do is go all out and just give them pornography you know print it off on your computer if you have to so you can get exactly what you think the neighbor kids are going to want print it on cardstock cut it out hand them out like collector's cards you could even number them if you want you'd be very popular with the older kids and 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 very unpopular with pretty much everyone else but if you want to make sure you get even less kids less next year, even fewer, what you do is give out pornography. And along those veins, you can go to the health department and just get condoms. Give out condoms for Halloween. Nothing a eight-year-old girl likes more than having a conversation with her mom about what the hell this is. And it's not like the little girl's going to open it or anything. Parents still go through their kids' candy, even though there's statistically no reason at all to do it. And the parents, who knows, they might appreciate it. Maybe if they had one of those, they wouldn't have a kid to take trick-or-treating in the first damn place. But while you're at the clinic, you know what you can really pick up that kids will just love? Brochures. It's never too young to start talking about unwanted pregnancy or chlamydia. And for that matter, you can do it all in Spanish. Yeah, get them Spanish language brochures. That way, all they can really see is the pictures, 
And the parents, I'm sure they'll thank you. And there's other kinds of brochures you can get too. I mean, you can you can hand out 9/11 truther brochures or 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 Rand Paul bro- brochures. I mean, the the sky is really the limit on that. If you want to go overboard, a good idea is loose taffy. Preferably if you can warm it up in the microwave first, because nobody likes cold taffy. And uh, it's great because it takes all your other candy and forms it into one piece of mega candy. I personally, I would like that. But if hot's not your game, go cold. A box from Costco, you can get a box of frozen waffles. It's like $8 for a 50 pack or something. One frozen waffle per kid, loose, in the bag, with the glitter. Who wouldn't want that? And if you're really feeling cheap, just give them ice cubes. It's got good weight when you drop it. You drop it in the bag, gives a nice thunk. They get home, all their candy's soaking wet. Their chocolate is starting to oxidize. It's really, it's it's a dentist's dream come true. Uh, but what I'm going to give out this year, probably, probably, is... Um, what I did earlier this year is I bought a bunch of LED light bulbs for my home and office, which I am using right now in this broadcast. No, what I do is uh, I took out all the old light bulbs, the CFLs and the incandescents, but I just don't have the heart to throw them away. So I'm going to give those out to kids. I don't know what kids will do with them except drive their parents' power bills up, but most parents aren't on LEDs yet. So really, this is a, a net win. It means fewer CFLs will be sold. It means parents will have longer bubble. You know what? I'm saving the world here by giving my garbage to children. And this Halloween, you should do the same thing. But on a serious note, if you want an actual idea for a non-candy, inexpensive gift that's fun to do with your kids, what I recommend is go to the beach and pick up some small rocks, paint them orange, and glue on googly eyes. And then with a Sharpie, you just draw a little jack-o'-lantern face. That's something kids might actually appreciate. And their parents might appreciate it too. Because you're not, you know, giving them candy. And it's cheap. It's so cheap. Big bag of googly eyes is a couple bucks. More than enough. Paint is maybe $3 for more than you could possibly use. And the rocks are, as it turns out, free. Those are God's rocks. You can't buy those. But you can have them. You can borrow them. They have to go back into circulation. So that's it. That's my uh, Halloween advice.